Welcome back to the Devlog Team Orion's Throne. Thanks for sticking around if you made it this far. Um, hopefully the journey will be worth it in the end, and if not, you can just stick around to watch me fail miserably at making this gigantic, ambitious project with very limited coding knowledge. But anyway, let's jump in and see what I've made this week. So we start off here in this low security area in the service corridor with some basic instructions. We can use the arrow keys to interact with menus and we can scroll through the dialogue, which sets the scene up a little bit. There'll be a bit of a kind of pre-log, prelude, or pre-level or whatever you want to call it uh, to this. So you'll get a bit of backstory. You'll have, you'll have an understanding of why you're here. Uh, and then it's your job to then open the hangar doors to progress the story. You can progress the story in one of two ways on this level, like I previously mentioned in the last devlogs. You can either successfully complete the level and the story will continue, or you can fail the level and the story will continue, but it will take a different path. So I've been playing around with the computer terminals in the background and now they don't work as they did before, but that's fine. I know exactly what the issue is. They do work in the sense that I can still disable the camera, but the the links to these links here, they don't take you to the bits that they should. The email works, so you can go ahead and read the emails, which will give you an understanding of the kind of story as it progresses. You'll read the emails to kind of learn more about what's happening as you play as well. Then you get a nice little objective updated drop down. If you hit the enter button or the P button, you can enter the pause menu and then it gives you your current objective, which is find the level two key card to access the main, which should say main computer terminal, but I haven't set the text to wrap, so I'll do that, um, and that'll be fixed in the next devlog. You, got to, you get a section that tells you how many gold coins you have, you get another section that tells you what items you found, which is like a basic six slot inventory, and then on the right hand side you've got a menu that you can then select um, different things like settings, you can see what secrets you found. That'll be a bit, bit more like a kind of catalog in terms of the entire game. So you can get an idea of if you've missed anything, which will I think encourage, encourage replayability, I hope, uh, providing the game doesn't suck. The journal uh, is what I want to put in, which will give you a kind of written story of what's happened so far. So um, you can go back and you can read um, you know, through the pages of, of what's happened, more like a kind of sto traditional storybook, which I think will be a nice element as well. And then you can resume game or you can quit game. It's going to have an auto save feature, so there won't be a save game option. And we'll be putting that in, in in future episodes. So stick around if you want to see how that works. So this area takes you to the main comms room, which is where you have to go, but the door's locked. Um, so there must be an, another way in, right? Um, I've added some kind of uh, some scribbly kind of dotty dots, if that's a thing, to the plaques on the wall. So if you walk up to them now, you can read them, and it says "Entrance to Main Comms Room." And then we can hide here. Is that going up or that's going down? So then we sneak past the security camera. Again, you can read the signs now. 19, 119 days without a major incident. And then this way, the kind of floor text tells you that this is the way to the hangar bay door. This is the way to the hangar. I must find a way to open it. And then you've got these lasers which I made last week. Um, obviously don't touch lasers. If you do touch them, you get shocked and then you go invincible for a few seconds um, and then you carry on. And then if you notice in the top left hand corner the hearts has dropped by one because I had those two hearts in there for quite a while and I didn't really have an idea of how um, Priya would be able to take damage. So I put these lasers in because, you know, RPG games and whatnot. Uh, we can go over to the panel, which will then say rewire the terminal to get the system back online. A drag and drop using the mouse and it gives you a little animation there with the kind of click the left mouse button. You can obviously exit this, but if you do, it takes you back to where you were and then you're none the wiser. You're no better off for what you've done. So in order to continue the level, you have to figure this out so I'm not going to show you how to do it we're going to skip through this and we're going to open the door just made it through don't get caught by these security cameras um, there are a few open cabinets that you may discover around the level and if you walk up to them you may or may not find something useful this time we found five coins you can buy coffee now which is great because that didn't exist in the last devlog so if you walk up to the coffee machine it gives you an opportunity to buy a coffee for one coin and yes it's a coin 
I'm really, I really want to find a better word for currency because I think coin is too Super Mario Brothers. If you can think of a better word, like Final Fantasy has Gil, I'd like some kind of mythical currency that we can then use to kind of buy things within the game. But you can say no thanks, you can buy. If you don't have enough money, it will just tell you that you can't afford it. But we do because we found those five coins in the locker, so let's buy a coffee. And now you'll see that our speed has increased. And then that's a little kind of buff that you can get for a few seconds. I don't know how relevant that will be or how useful it might be, but there may be elements of the game where you need to run fast through things. I don't know. We're going to see how that plays out. This area is a computer uh, office now. Um, again, you can read the wall text. Worker satisfaction up 4.8% was that? When we climb through the vent and we drop down into the area that was current, that was previously behind this door, remember, um, in the May comms room. We've now sneaked in or snuck in, whatever you want to say. I've got patrolling guards which have a flashlight on them, so if you get caught by the guards, again, there's a little sign movement, uh, a sign behavior, sorry, on the searchlight. If you get caught, the HUD comes in and the guard talks to you, it says freeze intruder, and then you get, uh, you get caught. But that's where we're at so far. A lot has happened. Um, I've got these two guards now working how I want them to work. I've just got to recode in the computer terminals so that no matter which terminal you go to, you get a smooth, um, a smooth transition between the screens so you can read the emails, you can play the games, you can play Space Attack. Um, that's boring but easy enough to get done. Once we've done that, there'll be a computer terminal probably in one of these rooms that you'll be able to get the password and then the ultimate objective will be get back to this computer here which has the icon above and that icon appears when you unlock a certain objective so it kind of gives you a hint as to where you need to be to go and unlock it and then you can unlock this um, once you've done that the master PC um, and if you successfully get that far you can get back down to the hangar bay doors and you can go through here and then that takes you through to the next level where you'll meet Cowboy, which is the second playable character. Um, and once I finish this level, I'm going to upload it to Itch, I think, so people can start play testing it and provide feedback. So if you'd be interested in that, then stay tuned because that is coming up in future episodes. We're not too far away now from completion. There's just a little bit of work to do in the back end, my side of things, and then the story can continue to progress and we can see how the characters and their journeys play out through this video game. If you're enjoying the journey, then please do click the like button. It does help my channel. It helps YouTube show my videos to more people. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Again, it really helps the channel. Keeps me motivated to spend my free time uploading videos on my progress. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.